Welcome back to the Explanation Pro. Today I'll recap a horror, thriller film called, Break. Spoilers incoming. On the snowy mountain range in the Urals, a merry band of twenty-something friends, three boys, Kirill, Dennis, and Roman, and two girls, Vika and Katya, start vlogging about their trek to the top of the mountain. Even though the area is deserted, the group seems not to be worried as they are more focused on celebrating New Year's Eve. Roman brings a giant Christmas tree and a crate of booze along the climb as the friends talk about his failed hookup with a girl. As everyone reaches the overlook, they pose for a group photo wearing Christmas-themed headgear. Katya gets a video call from her Masha, who is partying back on the mainland. She reveals to her friend that she has been continuing her relationship with Kirill to not upset him on New Year's Eve, despite the fact she plans to abort their baby after the holidays. She has no choice but to keep this secret so that he will not feel guilty. Later, the group enters a ski station closed for the night, where Roman takes an old carabiner from a display. Kirill begs the operator to stay and help them on the ski lifts before he leaves, but he refuses, so Dennis tries to bribe him instead and ends up paying him 5,000 rubles to keep him around much longer. As everyone settles inside the funicular, the operator gives them a few rules to follow, not to be rowdy inside and not open the door while moving. Unfortunately, Kirill leaves his brown bag of valuables at the bottom of the mountain and wants to stay behind and retrieve it. Still, everyone is already too anxious to go, and the operator grows impatient. He asks Katya to stay with him, but she refuses, leaving him disappointed as he goes back for his bag. While lifted to the top of the mountain, the group advises Katya not to worry too much about her boyfriend. Roman livens up the mood with his portable speaker and starts to dance. He opens a bottle of wine with a knife and shares the drink with Katya while offering to have sex with her with Kirill, not with them. She turns him down, feeling that he is stepping out of bounds in their friendship. Halfway through the journey, the power is cut off, so the cable car gets stuck. Dennis calms everyone down, saying the generator will soon be powered on to get them moving again. Meanwhile, back at the station, the operator tries to identify to cause of the outage and goes down to the electrical area. Fifteen minutes pass and Vika starts worrying about their situation as their funicular creaks and sways because of the icy wind. Roma defies the rules and opens the doors manually to pee outside the railings. After the backup generator is turned on, they start moving again suddenly, forcing Dennis to save Roma from falling when he loses his balance. Relieved, he takes a sip of whiskey while discovering Kirill's brown bag hidden under the Christmas tree. He opens it and pulls out a lockbox with a prized bottle of vodka inside. The group calls Kirill immediately to inform him and invite him to get back up the station to follow them to the mountain. As for the liquor they found, he suggests Katya throw it away, as he knows about the pregnancy and wants her to keep the baby. After rummaging more of his things, they discover an engagement ring that fell from the bundled parachute, indicating that he was going to propose to Katya on the top of the mountain. Katya calls him back, only to reach a higher altitude where signal service is cut off completely. Meanwhile, the operator makes a few more routine checks on the cabling system before returning to his office. While looking up carelessly, he does not realize that the keys around his neck have attached to the gears, and he starts to choke. He tries to free himself with a crowbar, only to let it fall onto the gear system, which overloads the electrical unit. Unfortunately, the man dies, unable to free himself in time. Back in the village, Kirill walks on his lonesome, trying to call his friends as the festivities go on, not knowing that Katya and the others are stuck inside the funicular. As one minute counts down to New Year's Day, the group decides to party on the spot, lighting a few sparklers while they view the fireworks from a distance. Katya takes a cell phone video of their unorthodox celebration for her to upload on YouTube when they return below. A few drinks get passed around as they dance the night away without Kirill. Katya draws a smiley face on the window as Roma adds two S to make SOS, not knowing the temperatures are slowly dropping and ice begins to fill the window. They sleep in the cable car, where Katya dreams of Kirill rescuing them via helicopter while finding out all her friends died due to the cold. She awakens in fright and sees her friends hung over from all the drinking. Thinking Dennis may have fallen off, Vika frantically calls out for him, only to discover that he spent the night up on the roof of the funicular. Katya and Roma climb up, realizing they are too high above the ground for any rescue to spot them. Dennis climbs further on the steel ladder to get better reception and check if the wires are strong enough to hold while his girlfriend Vika holds up a flare out the window. The group starts to wonder why no one has realized they are still stuck in the cable car, knowing there should be a new set of employees by morning working at the station. 
they decide to ration all their supplies while they think of a way to call for help. Meanwhile, two female operators arrive to do their morning shift even though most workers have taken the day off for New Year's Day. They check the logbook and find out their colleague did not sign out. Eventually, one of the women finds out about the stalled cable car and calls for a repair team before they grab some lunch. In the funicular, Katya finds a harness that Dennis will use to hang onto the cable wires, hoping to cross the long way back to the station. He then asks the group to find a rope to secure him once he steps out, not knowing Katya found one but decided to keep it a secret. Simultaneously, Kirill awakens hung over in a hotel room bathtub while getting a video call from his mother and sister. He begrudgingly lets them know about his breakup with Katya as they ask about the two getting married someday. Later, Roma inspects the electrical unit of the cable car, only to find it not functioning. Out of options to make it through freezing weather, Dennis decides to burn the Christmas tree to keep them warm. They eat some chips as they complain about the delay in their supposed rescue. Meanwhile, the female operator closes the lift for renovations and diverts all the queuing skiers to another available station. Hours pass as the ski resort is in full operation while the group continually loses patience about their plight. Just then, Vika opens the hatch and finds the rope, much to the shock of everyone. Katya did not want them to discover it because she would rather wait for a rescue team than see her friends risk their lives. Roma loses his patience with her before Dennis steps in and calms everyone down. Later, as Kirill sends Katya messages from his hotel room, Dennis opens the back door and readies everyone to go down from the cable car with the rope. Vika and Roma argue over who should go first when the latter gets slapped in the face. Dennis tries to subdue him as Katya breaks their fight up when the cable car starts rocking gently. She then makes a video diary about their second day trapped inside, showing how they secured the harness to the rope tied to a steel handle. She ends the video by warning children not to try their escape plan at home. Dennis kisses Vika and wears the GoPro helmet before dangerously descending below. The descent goes well until he drops his pair of skis on the ground, causing the snow to break apart from the cliffs. He tries screaming to be pulled back up, but he is too far down for anyone to hear him. With the strong wind adding to his burden, he climbs the rope, only to slip and dangle by his foot, dragging Roma and Vika down with him as Katya grabs hold. Realizing there is no way for all of them to survive, Roma cuts Dennis loose, making him fall to his death. Back in the hotel, a disgruntled Kirill stops by Dennis' room, and after receiving no response from him, he leaves and calls a taxi to get him to the airport. Meanwhile, Vika is devastated by Dennis' fall and castigates Roma for doing such a cruel thing to his friend. Pointing him with his knife, she denies that her boyfriend is dead and demands he and Katya rescue him. Unfortunately, she passes out from bleeding because of the stab wound she got from the harness. The two friends decide to make a tourniquet with a belt to stop her leg from bleeding out entirely. They try to keep her awake not to contract hypothermia as Roma climbs out to signal a passing helicopter. He asks Katya to light a flare to get it to fly in their direction, to no avail. Roma becomes so frustrated that he pushes her, breaking her shoulder as she hits the hatch door and gets stuck. Unable to open it, the two remain outside in the freezing weather. On the way to the airport, Kirill listens to music to drown his sorrow while the driver gives him love advice. Meanwhile, as Vika struggles to gain strength, Roma asks Katya to drop down the funicular to open the door from the inside. Refusing to follow his insane plan, Katya lights up a second flare and hits him with it until he falls and breaks his nose. He panics when his jacket is caught in flames and takes it off, giving her enough time to hide on the side of the railings. He gets a steel rod and taunts her as she dangles to get back inside the cable car. She opens the door with the key and immediately checks on Vika. She then pulls the upper hatch as Roma tries to open it with the rod with all his might until he slips and falls. Afterward, Katya faints out of exhaustion. Some hours pass as Kirill scrolls through some video posts of Katya on his phone. Upon arriving at the terminal, he calls the hotel management to ask about her, only to find all his friends never return to room 237. He calls back his taxi to drive him back to the ski resort. At dusk, Katya wakes up from a dream about Roma stabbing her hand. She sees all her fingers bloodied and almost frostbitten from the cold. As she checks on Vika again, she finds out she died, leaving her the only one surviving. She wears her winter coat and treats her wounds with a bottle of whiskey before wrapping her hand with a handkerchief. She then covers the open hatch with the skis and turns on the Christmas lights to keep her warm. Unable to withstand the biting cold much longer, she puts on Vika's jacket and burns up all the paper in their belongings, including her photos and sketchbook. 
Suddenly, a fierce wind cracks open the glass window, putting the fire out as she screams in exasperation. As her situation grows dire, she leaves Kirill a heartbreaking video message, apologizing for how she acted toward him and that he was always enough for her. She shows him that she is wearing the engagement ring, as she agrees to be his wife. She ends the video by saying that she loves him. On the road back to the ski resort, cars are stalled because of the snowstorm. Kirill leaves the taxi and decides to make a run for it toward the mountain range. He reaches the station but sees it closed, so he finds a worker taking care of a snowplow and begs him to take him up the lift, but he refuses as the storm is getting worse. He later chases after Kirill when he climbs up the slopes on foot. Meanwhile, Katya is asleep, dreaming about her future daughter with Kirill as they play with red balloons. She awakens with renewed hope, so she grabs the kite and stuffs it in a bag with the Christmas lights as she prepares to leave the cable car. Just then, the railing snaps, causing the funicular to dangle precariously as Katya falls onto the glass window. She slowly moves toward the ladder while grabbing the fire extinguisher to open the upper hatch. Though her plan works, the cable car fully detaches from the rails and plummets to the cliffs. On the other hand, Kirill hears the alarms from the station and finds the female operators recovering the body of their colleague. When he realizes that the cable car malfunctioned because of a stuck crowbar, he leaves at a loss on what to do. Fortunately, he does not know that Katya survived the fall, albeit hanging on the railing with the steel ladder. She climbs to the top and flies a kite with Christmas lights. Fortunately, Kirill sees it from a distance, so he goes back inside the station to take the jammed crowbar out but fails. He then gets help from the male worker, who pulls the gear just enough for Kirill to grab the obstruction and get the cable system started. Rescuers arrive, along with Kirill, as they save a frail Katya from what remains of the cable car. She breathes through the oxygen tank as she hallucinates the red balloons flying in the sky, a sign that her life will go as she envisioned. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.